Sun-kissed melon, sir. Not today. Okay. Welcome to Thursday. All day long, I've been thinking it was Friday. It's not. It is only Thursday. Yeah. Oh, you found an egg. Oh, what's in it? Mud? Yeah, it's a mud egg. Hmm. It matches your shirt. Yeah. We'll just wash that off. What's crazy is we've had really pretty days. Today, yesterday, the day before. Tomorrow, I think, is supposed to be a pretty day. But then when Saturday gets here, rain, 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 rain. You know what? We should make tomorrow Saturday. And then let Saturday be Friday. So, oh. That twig tripped me up. I got the twig away. You got it? Yeah. It's a little bit after three o'clock and I completely forgot before I brought him outside to play, I was gonna go ahead and start the tenderloin in the oven. Tonight I'm gonna make the pork tenderloin with the pineapple salsa. I think it's gonna be really good. I don't know that we've ever had pineapple salsa before. We've made a mango salsa, but I don't think we've ever made pineapple. Jonah and Cece are practicing for fishing. Well, sorry, Jonah's got bubbles. Cece's got fishing rod. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Alright, we're gonna get this tenderloin in the oven, then we'll go back out. Have to get my iron skillets out of the oven, that's where I store them. We're gonna put this on the well-loved baking sheet here. I actually wanted to do this in a smoker, but I'm not good at that. We all know this. It would not turn out good. So we'll just put it in the oven. I could sear it, but we'll just put it in the oven today. So this is a really big, how many pounds is this thing? Seven center cut pork loin. Oh, they even have lines on here to tell you how to cut, like if you want to cut your own chops, which is what we're going to do, but I'm just going to cook it whole, then we'll slice it. The lines right here, I've already cut it open, but that's really neat, Smithfield, thank you. See, three eighths thin cut chop, five eighths regular cut, one and a quarter thick cut. We will definitely have leftovers of this. After it finishes cooking, I will uh, remove the foil and let it brown, you know, brown really good on top. But yeah, this thing, it's huge, so it would be kind of hard to sear it. I mean, I would have to cut it, and so we're just gonna skip that. What do we wanna put on here? Touch of cherry or sweet preacher? Which one do we wanna go with? I think we'll go with sweet preacher. Not gonna worry about doing the bottom since we're just, yeah, we're just gonna do the top here. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in here with it, and it's going in the oven. clean up my mess real quick and then we'll put it in. So we're gonna have the pork tenderloin with pineapple salsa, probably some baked potatoes, but I won't need to start those for a little while. I'm just gonna make, I think I'll just make them in the Instant Pot and salad. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in. It's almost ready. It's gonna be in here for a long time anyway, so it'll be fine. Oh, it's ready, see that? Look at that. Have you caught anything? Not yet. Got one. Ooh, you got one. Yeah. You're a good net fisher. You caught another one. I'm assuming we're playing a game that this is a fish. Come here, fishy. 
eggs and the men are split wow. eggs. Okay, go put them back in the water. Be careful with him, he's got pinchers. Yeah, I don't want to hold him. You don't want to, what's he called? Um, a crayfishy. Crayfishy? <laughs> Watch out, Johnny, he's gonna pinch you. <laughs> okay, put him back in the water. We have another turkey egg. Do we? We do. The little black ones are trying to escape. Bring it in, Manny. You're a good chicken catcher. We are back inside. I'm gonna go ahead and put the potatoes in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna do two sweet potatoes and the rest regular. So I put the rack in, we just put a cup of water. I'm gonna wash the potatoes and poke holes all over them. I'm gonna cook these for 15 minutes since I'm putting in some sweet potatoes because they usually take a little bit longer. Once we get these started, we'll go ahead and make the pineapple salsa. So we're gonna take our pineapples here. I'm not gonna make a lot of it because I'm pretty sure most of the kids are not even gonna want to try the pineapple salsa. So I'm just cutting these into like the pineapple tidbit shapes. Now, we're gonna cut this pepper and I'm gonna make sure it's not a hot one before I add it in here. We got some animals in the background. And I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure me and Titus will be the only ones who try this pineapple salsa. Jonah might, but even if he does, he likes spicy stuff too, so. Now, you can add different stuff to this. You can add red onion, cilantro. I don't have any of those, or I would add them. I forgot whenever I did my grocery pickup order. I got everything for the, I got the pork tenderloin and I knew like, okay, I've already got the pineapple. So I just didn't think about the other things I needed for the pineapple salsa because I already had the pineapple here. Okay, so we're just gonna slice this. And by the way, it's not a very hot one. I like the really hot ones, but this one is, it's not too many steps up from a bell pepper. All right, now we're gonna put in some of these diced pimentos because I don't have a fresh red pepper, like I said. I forgot to order my pineapple salsa ingredients, so we're just going with what we got. These diced pimentos will do. They are actually red peppers. Somebody was asking about that, like can you substitute pimentos for red pepper? And you can because they are, well it doesn't say it on here, but pimentos are red peppers. That's what they are. I'm just gonna put in about a tablespoon. I'm gonna drain them a little. Okay, so now we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of ground cumin, a few crushed red pepper flakes. Yeah, I put that on yesterday. You did? Oh, that cumin instantly gives it the salsa feel or the salsa smell. We're gonna put in some honey just about, for this amount, probably like two tablespoons, I guess. Now we're just gonna take half of this lime and squeeze it in. So that's it for the pineapple salsa. Like I said, if you have red onion and cilantro, add those in. <laughs> Smells really good. All right, I'm just gonna put the top on this and stick it in the refrigerator and it'll be ready when the pork tenderloin is. It's probably got about 45 more minutes, so I'll just let the potatoes stay in the Instant Pot doing a slow release until it gets done. Kitchen is clean, besides Tyler getting himself some coffee. <laughs> and I still need to sweep the floor. Mr. Man told me he wants a banana, but not, which one do you want? Um, the clean ones. The clean one? Yeah. What are these? Um, dirty ones. <laughs> he still calls brown bananas dirty ones. They're not dirty, they're just, they're getting ready for banana pudding or smoothies. Oh. Or banana bread. 
Nothing like enjoying a little Andy Griffith in the evening with a clean banana and a cup of coffee. All right, y'all. It's a little while later. I'm getting the French press ready for in the morning. And I'm gonna go ahead. I have this casserole dish out over here. I'm gonna make a, how many scoops did I just put in there? I think that was four, anyway. All right, that's ready. I'm gonna put this over here. In the morning, I'm gonna make a blueberry, I'm not blueberry, raspberry breakfast cake. It's pretty much like a raspberry muffin, but just big. Oh, and the pineapple salsa, y'all, with the pork tenderloin, amazing. Titus and Jonah really loved it too. They were the only ones who tried it though. Everybody else skipped the pineapple salsa, but they were missing out. All right, we're set up and ready for tomorrow. Mm -hmm.